Hey Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well look where I am. I'm at Colonial Beach, Virginia. Sun's been rising and I'm all alone on the beach. I got the whole place to myself and it's luxurious. Decided to take this morning to do a walking meditation. While I've been walking, I've been thinking about sea magic. And uh, you know, for those of you who are interested in sea magic, when you practice sea magic, all of your elements not all of them, but a lot of them, come straight from the beach. For example, this morning I found these beautiful driftwood wands. Here, I'll put them down you can look at them. Aren't they just incredible? This one here has a beautiful fork in it. And this one is very straight and smooth. I love these. If you want to explore sea magic, you should try to take a trip to the beach. Get your tools. Here I've got my wands and I've been looking for some beautiful decorations for my altar. For example, here's a lovely little shell. This could be used as an incense burner. All natural and beautiful. Or it could even be used as a holy water holder. And look, we've got beautiful ducks coming up here. They're so friendly. They're looking for food. <laughs> you gonna come up here? I think he's coming up here. There they go. There's another one. There's a mallard, green-headed mallard. Aren't they beautiful? So as you can see, I'm having a lot of fun here at the beach. But the wonderful thing about when you go to the beach is that it's a wonderful time for meditation a time for reflection and prayer. It's a wonderful place to do sea magic. For example, you don't have to spend a lot of money and have a big ritual. Your magic can be as simple as drawing a sigil in the sand and releasing it to the water. So we're going to go down here and do a little sea magic. As you can see here, it's a beautiful scene. I'm right at the water's edge, and here I am. You want to be kind of close to where the water laps up. Now, the waves are low today, but when high tide rolls in, this will all be submerged, and some of this will be washed out to sea. So a really simple spell is put your initials on the ground. So here I'm going to put a B and an H for Bob Hickman. And then you want to draw a giant pentagram over your initials. And as you do that, visualize the protective power of the sea and the Great Mother surrounding you. For the sea is the Great Mother. And then you wish it, you say, Great Mother Goddess, Goddess of the Sea, hear this pentagram I lay for protection now by night by day. Set your intent and release it out to the sea. And when the water comes in, it will wash away your sigil and the power will be released. You know, I think sometimes the best magics are the ones that are just the simplest. Wicca is a shamanic faith that attunes to the natural energies. And so when we're in nature, and we do our magic in nature, then we get really amazing results. Hey guys, well here we are. This is the Great Pier at Colonial Beach, Virginia. Isn't that dramatic? Look at this. You enter the pier through this gazebo here. So I think we'll take a stroll down the pier. You know, I love this old gazebo. Isn't this beautiful? You can sit in here and just look at the, the water. Across the way, that's the shoreline of Maryland. We're on the Virginia side here. It's so beautiful here. I love Colonial Beach. As you can see, the natural beach out here, all sandy. Wonderful, wonderful place. 
There's the American flag flying. Looks kind of like our country state, a little tattered. You know, when you come to the beach, it's time to reflect. Reflect on your soul. Reflect on the cosmos. You know, they say that all life comes from the sea. I believe that. And the sea has been equated with the ancient mother for millions of years. And so when we come here, we connect back with that primordial truth. It's really deep in our soul. You know, I was reading a book recently, and it was talking about how there's saline in blood. So we have salt water literally in our veins. I think it testifies to the truth of our interconnectedness with the sea. Over there you can see the steeple of the Catholic Church. They're ringing the bells now. In the old seafaring lore, church bells were considered a sign of bad luck for people about to go on a voyage. It was because the Christian clergy treated the ancient sea deities and those who believed in them with such disrespect that sailors who knew about the great sea deities of the sea got nervous when they'd hear church bells, fearing that the ancient gods might be disturbed, thinking they were part of the new religion that was pushing them out. Interesting idea. Well guys, here I am at the end of the pier. It is just spectacular here at Colonial Beach. Look at that beautiful water sparkling. As far as you can see, really, really something amazing. You know, whenever I walk along the beach, I feel so peaceful. And I realize why I feel peaceful. You see, at the beach, all of the elements are in balance. We have earth, we have air, we have fire, and we have water. The four elements are in harmony, and we have them each in equal abundance here. And we can't forget, of course, the fifth element, which is spirit. And I always feel that my trips to the beach are spirit-infused. That's why I love to do magic at the beach. I have my wands. I have my natural energies here. It's my sort of place. <laughs> the birds are even friendly, too. You know, at the beach, we can really get a sense of what's happening with Mother Nature. For example, look behind me here. The city of Colonial Beach had all these rocks put in here down across the shorefront. These are rocks to break up the waves and prevent erosion. With global warming, waters are rising everywhere and erosion at shorelines is becoming a serious issue. Today, fortunately, the rocks are enough to stop it. But I think we should take that as a warning sign that we all need to be aware of how we treat Mother Earth. And let's hope that this problem will not escalate. The rocks are kind of cool, though. I do like looking at them. You know, that's what's nice is when you can find a a little area just to relax. Here I found this old, uh, looks like this old wooden post that's been thrown down here at the water's edge and it makes a perfect little bench to sit on. I've got my wands drying out and I'm just enjoying 
contemplating the mysteries of life. Today I'm wearing my moon pendant, for the moon and the sea are intimately connected. Many Wiccans talk about the goddess of the moon, but many of them also forget that she's goddess of the sea. For the moon affects the tides, it affects our emotions, it affects our magic. For example, this book that I've been reading, called Witchcraft for the Seashore, Here's a wonderful book that I've been reading, Traditional Witchcraft for the Seashore by Melusine Draco. This talks in this book about attuning to the nature and the energy cycles of the sea. For example, according to sea witch magic, high tide is kind of like the full moon. When you have high tide, that's where power is. So if you want to do a spell and you need power, you use high tide. If you want to banish something, you use the low tide. As the tide is decreasing down to low, it's similar to the waning moon. So as the tide rises, it's like waxing moon. High tide is full moon and waning tide is uh, waning moon. So as you see, the moon and the sea and its energies are intimately connected. I love it. Well, guys, I am so glad you came along with me to my little trip here to Colonial Beach. And I am tell you, I'm excited. I'll show you my wands as they dry out. They're still a little damp, so it takes a few weeks for them to dry out. But uh, I've got beautiful driftwood wands. I'm going to start doing more magic with them. But listen, you don't have to live at the beach to do sea magic. What you have to do is bring the spirit of the beach to wherever you are. So create an altar with seashells, with driftwood. Get some seawater or make your own with some salt and water. Bring the spirit of the sea into your life and discover your ancient connection, your ancient roots. I'm so glad you're here. Listen. If you're new at Spirit Channel, hit that subscribe. We'd love you to be part of our channel. I'm so glad you guys are here, and I look forward to seeing you, seeing you back here. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more coming. Blessings to all of you. Well, guys, I'm on my way back, and high tide is starting to come in. Uh, I was going to show you the sigil again, but it's already washed away. So our power has been released to the great gods. As the tide rolls in, it's a wonderful time to do prayers and invocations. We can invoke the great mighty Isis, or Mary, Virgin Mary, Stella Maris, or Neptune, Poseidon, Triton, so many wonderful sea deities. Feel the power sense their presence and be one with nature. I'm so glad you guys came along. Blessings to all of you.